This afternoon, Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller addressed the city in a virtual State of the City address. One year after the pandemic began, Keller discussed all of the unexpected challenges that came from it. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows us the highlights from that address. Last year wasn't the year any of us expected. Unchartered territory. The new challenges that no one could have ever anticipated. That was the theme of this year's State of the City celebration, hosted virtually We're by city leaders. Places. The good news is that 2020 has reminded us that we've never run from the hard stuff. Mayor Keller says the pandemic presented unexpected challenges that the city faced head on. We made sure that seniors had meals, frontline workers had childcare, local businesses could get grants, and families had help with rent to pay the bills so that they can stay in their homes. There's no denying the pandemic has taken its toll on the local economy, but Keller says it's not all bad. More than $200 million is being invested in city redevelopment, which will include new streets and sidewalks on the west side, two new community centers on Route 66, and a library in the International District. For the first time in years, there are construction cranes popping up all over town as we build for recovery. Keller also says Netflix continues to make a big impact on the Duke City. Last year, council approved a major expansion. The streaming giant is now promising more than 2,000 jobs. And the sprawling Orion Center will be coming to the Sunport. Orion plans to build 4.1 million square feet of manufacturing space and will create over 1,000 good paying jobs. Another big subject of discussion, progress on the Gateway Center. In 2020, the city signed an agreement to purchase the Gibson Medical Center to serve as a 24-7 center for the homeless. It offers a good location and versatility in his home to facilities that will help meet people's specific needs. And while neighbors want more time to weigh in on that project, Keller says this year the city will follow through on making that vision a reality. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. And for the third year in a row, Mayor Keller says the city is meeting its goal to hire 100 new officers a year.